Hey everyone, Miss Curdy here again, and today we are going to be doing topic 5-6, which is where we're going to be writing our own stories, and in this case we're going to be focusing on multiplication only. Topic 5-7 will work on division word problems. So you're going to need two, mo uh, two note sheets, um, and we'll start with the first one. So whenever we're writing stories, we first want to think about what our fact is going to be. Sometimes someone might give you a fact and say, here, write a word problem for this equation, and other times it'll just tell you, write a word problem, and you'll need to decide what fact it's going to be. So let's choose a multiplication fact. Let's go with 4 times 8, which is going to equal 32. So now I have my fact, and now I just have to decide what my story is going to be about. And I got to think about what my groups will be and what I'm going to put in each group. And there are tons and tons and tons of options. I often like to stick to cookies and put them in bags. Um, we can talk about cats who have paws, bags of cookies, you can have buckets with balls in it, kids that have pencils, you can have kids with any type of toy, but the possibilities are really endless. Um, my advice to you is to always keep it simple. I often like to choose bags of cookies because I know that will work all of the time and it's quite simple. So now write about what your um, write about your groups and what's going to be in each group. So in this case I'm going to have four bags and I'm going to have eight cookies in each bag. And I want to make sure that I always end with a question asking how many I have in total. So in this case if I'm talking about bags of cookies I know that in the end I'm going to want a total amount of cookies. Step five, always reread your word, your word problem to make sure it makes sense that you have your capital letters, there's punctuation, and all the words are spelled, spelled correctly. Um, so now that we've gone through our steps, let's actually go through and write a multiplication word problem. So again, choosing our fact, I'm going to choose 4 times 8 is 32. Next, I have to choose what my groups are going to be. I'm going to have my groups being bags, and I'm going to put cookies in those bags. Now, write about your groups and what's in each group, and end with a question asking how many cookies I have in total. So let me go ahead and write about these bags of cookies. So Miss Curdy has four bags of cookies, period. She has eight cookies in each bag, period. And then I have to end with a question. How many cookies does she have in all, and I need to remember to end with a question mark. So at this time, you probably need to pause the video so you can finish writing in the word problem, and that's fine. Go ahead and do so, and then we'll move on to step five. All right, step five, reread your word problem. Make sure it makes sense that you have your capitals, your punctuation. You'll need periods and a question mark at the end. And then just double check that you have the word spelled correctly. So let's go ahead and reread this. Miss Curdy has four bags of cookies. She has eight cookies in each bag. How many cookies does she have in all? Good. Notice that we haven't actually given our answer because that is what the other person who's going to read your word problem needs to do. So although we know what it is, we're not going to tell them there's 32 cookies. We're going to ask them to find that piece of information. So just to recap, um, sometimes you'll be given a fact and I'll ask you to write a word problem for that fact. Other times, you'll be able to choose your fact. So once you have your fact, decide what your story is going to be about. Um, and again, there are so many options. You can always keep it simple and talk about um, cookies and bags, but the choice is yours. Next, go ahead and write about what you have, how many bags you have, how many cookies you have, or whatever your groups are in each group might be. And then always end with a question asking how many do you have in total of whatever it is in, in your, each of your groups. Finally, just reread your word problem to make sure it makes sense, that you have your capitals, your punctuation, and your spelling is the best it can be. 
All right, at this time, you can go ahead and get started on 5-6. Sign up for a group lesson if you need any extra help, and I hope you have a really fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Bye.